everybody, welcome to The Colors of Beauty by Elle. I'm Isabel. Welcome back and welcome all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for coming and to uh, share with me today my 2014 favorites. Now this is going to be the beauty products that I reach for the most um, and yeah, so um, I wanted to share with you guys what, what I've been liking, what I've been liking in 2014. Let's get started. Okay, now I wanted to go in order of the way that I put on my makeup so that um, you guys can see how, you know, what the beauty products are as, as follows. So the first thing I do is, of course, I wash my face and everything, take a shower, blah, blah, blah. If, well, you know what? If you guys want to see a uh, 2014 favorites for uh, bath products, um, let me know. And I'll go ahead and do a video for you guys on that as well. So anyways, let's get started. I don't want to make this too long because I tend to talk a little bit slower than, you know, most beauty people, but I'm sorry, but that's just me. Anyways, um, the first thing I do is put on a, um, I put on my, my, my lotion for my face, you know, my moisturizer and my eye, my eye juice <laughs> for under my eyes from, for my baggages, <laughs> for my designer bags. <laughs> and then I go ahead and prime my face. Um, I've been really loving, I don't really put on a primer per se, but I do put on a BB cream first before I put on my foundation. The, the, the two that I've been absolutely loving last year was, is the uh, Aveeno Clear Complexion BB Cream. This one here, and also the Garnier BB cream. Now this one I use. I'm using uh, which one am I using today? I'm using this one. This one I use when I put on a, a foundation that's more of a of a um, of a matte foundation because uh, this one tends to be a little bit more. Um, dewy. So if I put this one on with a matte foundation, it kind of, um, you know, corresponds with each other. So it makes the foundation just right for me. And then this one I put on for if, if I put on more of a dewy foundation, because this one tends to be a little bit more matte for me. And then with the dewy foundation, then I put this one on. So these are the two, uh, BB creams that I use before I put on my foundation. Those are my favorites. Now, my favorite foundation that I have been loving, loving 2014 is the EX1. This one here. I fe I'm featuring this on my uh, f uh, five before the snow flies. Um, I still have got to do that videos, but um, you get so much product in this. And the reason why I love this product is because it it's really great for people who are olive toned skin, like myself. It, in um, I order it online on I think it's called Look uh, Beauty Look or Look Beauty. I will link it below the the place where I um, I order this from. And this foundation is so creamy it is so creamy it's invisiware um it's a liquid foundation and it the first ingredient in here is water which is really really nice for me because um because of mature skin you kind of want to keep it hydrated you know but i do have combination oily skin but this keeps my face really really nice really um uh, not too dewy and not too matte. It's just right for me and I love the the color. So it comes in a pump like this and I really like that feature with the pump. And so here's the color right here. And I'm in the color 300. And uh, when you order this online, it's F300. When you order this online, it actually asks you what uh, color you are in matte 
like if like I'm an NC40 in MAC products and then uh, you go according to to that and then you order the right color the first time I ordered this this is my first bottle actually I was like kind of like oh gosh I hope it matches but it matches perfectly perfectly I really really love this foundation it's 30 mils in here and um, I absolutely love it I will link the website below where I got it so you guys can go take a look okay then um, for my concealer um, I've been I use the Sonia Kashik 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 <laughs> this one is a new one because I finished the other one already and I just opened this one and I haven't even touched it I absolutely love this it doesn't crease on me they're really creamy it does give you a powder more something like this more of a yellow green for redness if you you know to counter out the, the redness and uh, two different color concealers there um, I love this concealer it like I said, it doesn't crease on me and it just covers up, you know, anything that I have on and I just, I love it. I love it. And, and you can get it at the drugstore. Um, next thing, what I've been loving is for my brows. I love the Anastasia. Anastasia brow, uh, is this is the gel and then I use the powder on top of that. So what I do is... I go ahead and get just a little bit of the gel and then I put it on my eyebrows and then on top of that I put on a little bit of powder not a lot just a little bit to set it I use this one here for this side and then this one here for the tail end and it keeps my brows in check all day I love it I love it I love it it is my fave until I find a different one it's going to be my fave. Now for primers for my lids, I've been loving two, two of them. I, you know, you guys know I love my Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I've absolutely been loving this Too Faced Shadow Insurance that I've been trying. Now they're, they're just, to me, these are really, really good. Right now I am trying the, um, a, a different one. But, uh, these are, this one has been my holy grail one, and this one's really up there with this one. So these are the two that I've been loving for my eyelids when I put on my uh, my eyeshadow. Now for palettes, um, it was really hard for me to pick out a favorite palette because I'm constantly buying new palettes all the time. Um, to show you guys so but this one here is has to be probably my favorite one that I I got in 2014 um, that I've been using anyways and it is the Anastasia Amri Amrezy palette I love this I'm using it right now on my eyelids this is what I decorated my eyes with today all the things that I have today I have on my face um, I just I can't say you know enough good things about this palette um, let me see let me see if I can get this out I don't want the brush to fall out now you can see that I have been loving giving this some love the, <laughs> the green one there and I mean this palette is so creamy I mean you can just touch it barely touch it and the colors are just so so vibrant and and just so oh my goodness I mean look at this you guys just gorgeous 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 color um I absolutely am in love with this palette this is the one that I usually go to if I'm like going out or um every day uh it's just a beautiful palette I think I don't think that you can go wrong with this one here so this one is my favorite that I've been using for 2014. Um, now for individual palette, for individual um, eyeshadows, uh, for 2014, I've been really loving the Milani ones. Milani eyeshadows, Milani has been on a roll uh, for last couple of years with their eyeshadows. 
And uh, the first, I'm just going to show you just a couple of them that I got. Now these are the the um, the the newer ones that just came out. The uh, Bella, you know, the Bella Eye Gel powders, um, and these are just so pretty. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that sheen on this. Oh my goodness. Now I've got a couple more colors, but I'm I just got these be to show because these were, you know, available right off the bat. Look at that. Holy man. Look at this. Oh, beautiful, you guys. Absolutely beautiful. I just, oh my goodness. I'm getting a wipey to wipe my fingers. Um, wow. They, they, they're so pretty and they're so affordable and from the drugstore, you know, so anybody can, uh, and you can also order them online if you guys don't have them in your um in your area the other ones that i've been loving um of course uh, my favorite one um is the urban decay you know for the brow bone is the urban urban decay abc gum you guys watch me in my videos and i always seem to be putting this one on on my brow bone um because it is a really nice base i like putting this on because it is a um, very matte and it is so, 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 so creamy. And uh, it, it's a real, see how it just goes into my skin there? You can't even tell. And that's why I like it. Because you put it on, you know, and and it's it's just a really nice base to start out with your, with, uh, with my, um, uh, the uh, shadows that I put on my eyes. So, <laughs> I got stuck there. I got to go, <laughs> <laughs> okay, the other ones that I've been loving for individual um, eyeshadows are uh, Makeup Geek. Makeup Geek, she has, her products are so awesome. Very affordable. You have to get them online. I think that she's got a store coming up soon. Um, I don't remember where. Oh, I don't know. But anyways, these I have been loving now this gold here, I think this is the gold one. No, this is not the gold one. This is actually a loose pigment, which everybody is in love with. And uh, this one is Utopia. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. So um, it comes in like this, the little swirly thing, and you know, so you can, doesn't have any fallout. But look at this. I put it on the wrong way. I'm just really bad with that. Look at this, you guys. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Talk about sparkle. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Oh, Marlena, you are the best. So gorgeous. And then the other one that I absolutely love is this one. It's a loose pigment as well. And this is my favorite gold ever, ever. This is, oh, oh, I don't want to spill it, spill it. This is liquid gold, you guys, liquid gold. And liquid gold it is, look at this. I'm not gonna even oh, try to attempt it. Like, oh, I'm just gonna swatch it here. Put this down, it's like everywhere. I'm gonna put it right here. Look at this. It is like, oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. I I just can't say enough. I mean, is this not beautiful? Look at this color, you guys. Oh my God. If, if you, you know, this reminds me of, uh, she's got one palette too that's called Vegas Lights that I absolutely love. Um, but that, this is gorgeous. If you guys don't, you know, have a chance to order at least one pigment, you know, from her or a couple, these two are my faves. I just can't say enough good ones, enough good stuff about her products. Now, um, going on to eyeliners. Eyeliners um, have been kind of a hit and miss for me, but... I think I put these on la in uh, my favorites of 2013, and it has to be 
um, my Inglot number 77. It also comes in different colors, but this the a black one is the one that I use the most. And this is the one that I burn. If you follow me on Instagram or, um, you know, or uh, my Facebook page, I burnt one. I put it in the microwave to see if I could um, soften it up a little bit. <laughs> and yeah, I burned it. I was like so upset. I was like, no. But I, I ordered another one and I just love this gel liner. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. The other one that I have, I love um, for pencil is the Urban Decay 24-7 pencils. This one is, look how little that is. I use it all the time. And I love these. They're creamy. They don't, they stay on all day. They don't budge on my eyes. And now for, um, for, um, the, uh, the, uh, pencil, what is that? The, the liquid, uh, Pencil, you know, like a Sharpie. What do you call these things? Let me see. Oh my God, Isabel. This is a BH uh, liquid eyeliner. And this is from um, BH Cosmetics. Now they sent, I got this when I ordered um, the uh, uh, Rose something palette. The something Rose palette. God, what is wrong with my brain? Just old brain, I guess. Anyways, I got this in there and, oh, you guys, this eyeliner is the bomb. The bomb diggity yo. I'm, ki I'm not even kidding you. I am loving this eyeliner. I'm going to order more. This is the one that came in that palette. Um, and, oh, look at this. It is gorgeous. Gorgeous. And I'm telling you, it just stays on f for days. I mean, you can take it off, of course, with, um, you know, um, your, with your um, makeup remover, you know, but, and with the wipes too. But I'm telling you guys, this stuff stays on. And I, ah, I love it. I'm going to order more. And it's my favorite gel pencil wet sharpie eyeliner <laughs> okay now oh uh oh i'm gonna save this one for last i think because i want to show you guys now um for um contouring you guys know every time i make a video i always bring up my smashbox contour palette i love this stuff i love it i love it i love it it's got two different colors here. This one is more taupey, which is supposed to be the, you know, when you contour, you want something that's more on the taupey side because you want to uh, mimic shadow. And the way you do that is with something that's more taupey. Um, a lot of people make the mistake of using a bronzer. A bronzer is more for a... Um, it has more red in it and usually if it's got more red in it it's usually not really a, a something to uh to shadow with so you really want something with more of a taupey color in there and that's what this one is here and this one here is used more for the bronzing part of it so uh yeah so this one's for shadow bronzing and this one's for highlighting this highlighter is so nice there's no sparkle in this highlighter at all but look how nicely it does um highlight under here the nose and here i mean it it's just the sheen on it is just so pretty and see that it's just a really nice sheen i i love this i love this palette and that's my go-to uh, that has been my go-to um contour now for highlighting, I mean for like after, before I put this on, I do, I put on my um, Instant Age Rewind from Maybelline. Now this stuff here is really, really nice. I like it because it just like has that really pretty pink undertone to it, but it, it's kind of like a pinky peach, which actually highlights the bottoms here 
here, here, and here. And that's what I use it for. And I just dab it on with, um, with a makeup brush and it stays on. Or, and my other favorite one to use is my uh, MAC Pro Concealer. This one is an NC20, and you're asking why such a light color? For me, because you do want to get a lighter color than your face. See that? So what I do is I just dab, 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 just like I do this one. Not together, of course. I either use this one or this one. I'm showing you my faves. So this is one of my favorites here that I use. Now for um, um, powders. For my powders, um, they discontinued this powder, unfortunately, because now they have a different one, which I have not used yet. Because you can see that I'm just, I mean, I'm all, I'm like using the edges here, people. I love my Dream Matte Powder. There's not been anything that touches this at all. Not even like um, the MAC that I have found or anything. I love this powder. It, it, uh, it stays on all day. It doesn't make me greasy. It just, it just a beautiful powder and it's silky and there's no flashback when you wear it you know when you're got like um photographs and stuff like that i love it love 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 it and uh, i do have one backup of this and then after that i don't know what i'm gonna do <laughs> i think i'll try the other one the, the newer one anyways for um highlights for my face i now I've tried different highlights. Even I, I did buy a palette from the Hourglass one with the different highlights. But I gotta tell you, I love this one the most. This is my Laura Mercier highlighter. Um, it's just, it's in the color um, 01. And this guy here never fails me. I am wearing that today on my high cheeks, um, my high points here, here, and here. Look at this sheen, you guys. I mean, there's no glitter in here, but it does just leave a really, really nice sheen, you know, to the skin. And I, I have not been disappointed with this. And this is my my one of my holy grails, along with my physician's formula bronzing powder. Um, this one I use more um, if I want it to be more on the, um, see that more in the, in the glowy side of, uh, in, um, in the summertime. But I love this powder so much. I just, I mean, it is so pretty and it's so shiny, you know, and you got to use it with the light hand. Otherwise you'll be like, ee, ee, you know. Now for um, my favorite, my favorite, 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 favorite um, blushes are from Ingwat. I have a, another one. I have one more, but uh, I'm telling you guys, you can't go wrong when you go with Ingwat blushes. I have this. I have this one on right now, and this is in the color. Um, because they come in numbers. This one's in the color 66. Glasses are dirty. Um, and oh, holy man in the moon. I love it. Oh, it's just the bomb diggity yo, people. Bomb diggity yo. I, look at this. You just need the slightest, look at that. Just beak. Oh, just the smallest, the smallest, smallest little bit. I mean, it is just the most beautiful, beautiful pigmentation ever. You just need a tiny, tiny bit. And how I put it on is I get my a brush and I just put just a tiny bit on, like little dots. And then I get a double um, dual brush, the, the, the ones with the white tips. And I just like to swirl it and, and it just, it's just the most beautiful, beautiful color. Though that's my favorite. Uh, for, um, now for um, mascaras, mascaras are have I've 
been trying to find a mascara that I absolutely love that does what I want it to do. And just recently I bought um, this one from Jordana. Go figure, right? This is from Best La This is from Jordana. It's the Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara. This stuff is awesome. Um, I love this. If you're on the go, I mean, it, it's just a, a really nice mascara. It, the wand looks like this. It's not very much at the store. I think it's like $2.99, $3.99 or something like that. It's not a lot. And um, it stays on my eyes. It doesn't flake. Uh, I'm looking in the mirror. It doesn't flake. It doesn't run. I mean, and it's not hard to take off at all. I love it. And then on top of that, if I'm going out, I do have, have it right now is the Unique, from Unique Cosmetics. And this is the Fiber Lashes from Unique. Now there's a lot of thing, a lot of mascaras that have been trying to, a lot of companies that try to mimic the Fiber Lashes, um, but you know what? There's nothing like the real one. This is awesome sauce, you guys, awesome sauce. And how I put this on, um, I put this on first, let it dry for a little, you know, I do this eye with this, just like two coats, and then I do this with two coats, and then I come back, and then I use this one here, and then I put on the fibers, and then I do this eye, leave the fibers on, and then I go back, and then I do that again to finish it. And this is such a beautiful, um, I mean, it makes my lashes so long. See, they're so long and it's waterproof. It doesn't come off, it doesn't flake, but you do have to learn how to put it on. Now, um, I have some, if you guys want to know more about this, I will give you a link down below to uh, Debbie. Um, she is the one that, uh, you know, that I've been talking to about this. I didn't order these from her. I ordered them from Unique Cosmetics directly. But if you guys want to uh, try it or any of the other uh, Unique products, I'll go ahead and link her below. Now, I'm not getting paid or anything like that for to tell you about her stuff or her um, link or nothing like that. So, but I do want to give you guys some kind of a... Of a of a place where you guys can go, you know, talk to somebody, and she is a real person. <laughs> and anyways, okay, for the lips, getting down to the lips. Now, lip scrubs. Before I bought a lip scrub, I was just getting a towel and just kind of rubbing my lips, you know, after I get out of the shower, just to exfoliate. But then it was like, mm, you know, hmm, maybe I should really try a real one. <laughs> so I got this one from Tarte. I love it. I love it very, very much. It smells minty. It is so nice. And um, I've had it for a while. And look at that. It's not even really a dent in it. Just a teeny tiny bit of a dent. And I dab it on and then I just like scrub my lips with it. Scrubby, 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 just like that. And it smells good. <laughs> and then I take it off with the, with the towel or with the paper uh, napkin or something. And then um, that's my favorite scrub. Now for my lips, I've got a couple of best lipsticks that I absolutely, absolutely love. The first one, the first uh, lipstick that I absolutely love is from... Um, from Laura Mercier. Laura Mercier makes the most creamiest emollient um, lip products that I have found. I'm wearing this right now. This is just a gloss. Look how pigmented that is. It is beautiful. It is a beautiful, beautiful gloss. Um, I absolutely love it. It's not sticky. It stays a long, long time. Sorry about that with my doggy. And uh, she also, I also have the uh, lipstick that goes with this. And um, this is the, the line from her um, Glacier, 
glacy line. Um, and this one is called Orchid. And she's got other, um, you know, she's got her, the lipsticks that she has. And I, oh, I love them so much. Now, the other newer lipstick that I have been loving is, of course, the Too Faced Melted Lipsticks. These lipsticks are awesome. They stay on a long time. They're creamy and they come in so many colors. They just have they just launched a couple of new colors which I have not gotten yet. But this one is in the color Fig. Look at that. It is absolutely gorgeous. Now, I saw this color first when um when Beauty Addict uh, showed me showed us on her video this color and I was like, "Oh my I have to have that color. So I went ahead and got it, and um, I love it. Thank you, Alex, for showing me this color. I love it very, very much. And then the other one, my favorite red, is from Urban Decay, and this is from the Pulp Fiction um, a series. This is in the color... It's got a name on it. <laughs> this is... Uh, Miss Mia Wallace. I love this color. It is so pretty. This is such a beautiful, beautiful red. Look at that. It, this one stays, it's, ugh, I, I don't know. It stays on so long, you guys. It is so creamy, non-drying. I absolutely love this red. It is my favorite red out of all of them that I have. And uh, I try not to put a dent in it because it is, um, I believe it is a limited edition, I think. So I try not to uh, use it too much so it doesn't go away. <laughs> now, I, I, I love body sprays. Um, I'm a big fan of body sprays. Um, so, it, you know, it's hot in Arizona and it, it's just, you know, like today it's like 71 degrees here. I'm sorry, you guys. I know you guys back east are probably freezing. I'm sorry, it, but it's beautiful in Arizona. Um, but it also gets very, very hot. So, um, that being said, I really love the body sprays from Beth, Bath uh, and Body Works. This one is one of my favorites. It's called Beautiful Day. It just smells so fresh and florally but not real fruity florally florally you know it, I don't know has uh, some pear notes under there um some poppy maybe I don't know it's just a beautiful scent the this one I love for the summertime the springtime and this one I really love for the um for the winter this one is the um blossom the Japanese cherry blossom. I love it. Oh, I, what, how I keep my scent on, um, these on, if, if you guys have a problem with keeping the body sprays on, I put on my lotion first and then right after that I spray. <laughs> and then after that, sorry about that, that's my phone. And after I do that, um, I go ahead and, and get dressed and then I spray again. And it, it tends to last me all day. The scent does, and people's like, "What are you wearing?" You know, so <laughs> so that's what. It, now for this for the uh, for the summer for fragrances, I really love my Dolce and Gabbana light blue perfume. I love this stuff. It smells like I don't know. It smells like like when you're in the ocean. You know, not like fish. You know, that would yeah. You don't want to smell like fish. That would not be good, girls. <laughs> Anyways, but this smells so good. So refreshing. Oh, I love it. Love it. Love it. Now, the next thing I want to show you guys is the brushes. The best brushes that I use on on a daily basis. My The, the most favorite brush for me, and I have said this many, 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 many times on my videos, it is, it, it is the Sigma Small Tapered Blending E45 brush. Look at this. It is, this brush, you guys, is amazing. It is so soft and it comes to a point and you can use this brush for so many things. 
Um, it's so nice for the outer V because you can just like get your product, blink, 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 you know, just at the ends and then just make a really sharp crease in there, like a cut crease, or you can really just, you know, go in there and just blend everything out. And this, or you can just go under here, you know, to smudge at the bottom there. This brush is amazing. If you guys get any brushes from Sigma, you, if this one is like a must, you have to get this brush. It is the bomb, the bomb diggity yo. Okay, so this, this brush here from Mac uh, is one of my other favorite brushes. And the why it is because it is flat and it packs on the color on your eyes so nicely. And so, I mean, it just, oh, I don't know. It just, I love it to pack the color on. And this is my other favorite. And the other favorite brush has to be this one here. I got this at the art store, actually, at Michael's. And it is a Simply um, Simmons. And it is an angled brush. See that? And the reason I like it, it's because it is so so thin. I cannot find a thin brush like this in the makeup department at all, anywhere. And I love it for the, for, to put in the gel liner for a cat eye. And this one is amazing, amazing. You guys go to the art store, find yourself some brushes like this. They're awesome. It doesn't have to be a beauty brush per se, but, and they're cheaper and they work nicely. Now, for the grand finale, the best product for 2014 that I have been loving. Um, I did a video on this, you guys. This is like one of the best things that's ever happened to me in my life. <laughs> it is the Anastasia Beauty Genius Gel. It looks like this. I got it online from Anastasia, but you can also get it um, in Sephora. But this stuff is waterproof gel. You can put it down as a base for uh, pigments and your pigment will stay there forever, forever. And then, or you, I, the way I like to use it is I put it in the back of my hand and then I get a brush, put some, um, whatever kind of eyeshadow you have. And then I like to mix it and then put it on at the bottom there. That's how I use it. But the reason I do that is because, of course, uh, like I said, again, it is hot here in Arizona and everything runs, everything, if you're, if you're like not careful. So that is why I like this stuff. It is awesome, awesome possum, bomb diggity yo. So, okay, you guys, that is it for my favorites 2014. I'm going to cut it right here because I'm running long. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, let me know what your favorite products are down below. I do have Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook, please. And um, comment, thumbs up, you guys. And please subscribe. I'm, um, you know, I'm needing some new people here to like me. <laughs> so anyways, I hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful, colorful day. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys later.